Greetings beautiful people, I hope you are having a good day. In this video, we are starting a brand new course about Wix Studio. So in this course, you will learn everything about this platform. I will share how to create beautiful website from scratch, some tips and tricks, Velo code, CSS and many more. So without further delay, let's get started. I want to start at a high note for the first chapter. So let's design a beautiful hero section for our website. For this course, I want to create a yoga instructor website. So the first thing I'm going to do is select this image. I have created these image using the chat GPT and add it to the page. If you want to set this image as the background of the section, you can either use this option here or you can choose the section and then set the image from here. However, I don't want to do that because I want to create a beautiful animation using this image. So to do that, I will choose the stretch responsive behavior. Now remember, this stretch function does not set this image as the background, okay? It's just an image which has been stretched across the section. The second thing I'm gonna do is disable the max width here. I'm gonna talk more about this feature when we talk about the responsive behavior. And for the section, I wanna set it to fixed height. So for example, you can choose the section, go here, and in the height, set the 100 VH. The VH stands for viewport height. So now it covers the entirety of the screen like this. Okay, so as you can see, now this image, this section covers the entire screen here. The next thing I'm gonna do is edit this image using the Wix Studios AI editor. So click on adjust here. And what I wanna do is remove this background from this image. So choose cut out and auto cut out. This function automatically removes the background. Now you can further refine the cutout. For example, you can restore any of the images. So select the brush size like this and click on it like this. Okay, so it's gonna restore the images that you don't want to uh, cut from this. So I'm gonna spend some time to refine this image. So after some editing, now we have this image with the removed uh, background. Um, you cannot see this in the image right now, but if I change the section color, the background color from here, like this, the black color here is the removed uh, background in the image. Let's add the next image in this. You can further refine any of the images or you can go to platforms like FreePick where you will uh, be able to find some beautiful images with transparent backgrounds. Um, let's do the same thing here. I'm gonna choose this image, go to cutout. So for example, this image has a perfectly cut background. So most of the time, this will work perfectly unless you have some complex images with uh, you know, more refined borders. Click on save. And now you have a transparent background. The next thing I'm going to do is crop this image to remove some of this excessive uh, size here and resize this image like this. Let's align this to the center. And also, you see this uh, dotted line here. This is the auto docking of the elements. So this uh, element here, this uh, auto docking makes your website responsive. So change this to the bottom. So it keeps the proportion of your section and your website and it keeps the design intact. Now let's add an animation to this uh, image right here. I'm gonna add the entrance animation first. So let's add the grow. Now the reason why I decided to remove the background for this image is because I wanted to create some sort of effect like the sunrise, okay? So let's do that and let me show you how to use CSS in Wix Studio. To add the sunrise, I'm going to use a simple container. 
go here in the add section choose the container and select any of these containers here next up i want to resize it like this i want to change this container into a sunrise type of effect using the css to use the css you have to first enable the coding so go here and click on start coding and it will now take your website to the coding environment now you can add your own custom codes and the CSS is right here okay the first thing you need to do is add global.css file and this is where you can edit all your CSS let's close this and give it a CSS class you can name it anything you want So I have given it a CSS class or a background. Now you can write all your CSS codes here. So I'm going to create a gradient that looks like a sunrise. So I have added a code here that will uh, add a gradient to this container and make it look like the sunrise. So give it a name again. And as you can see, as soon as I assign the CSS class to this container, uh, it uh, changes the gradient of it. So now it looks like a sunrise here. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is go to layers here and change its position and send it to the back. All right, so now uh, this image, the container, sorry, looks like the sunrise here. To further refine this design, I'm gonna add an animation. So let's go here and set it to shape let's adjust the animation and give it an oval shape you can preview it from here like this or circle is good and let's further uh, change the position let me show you how to use the position here so these are the position parameters and the size parameters so the x and y position is right here so let's uh, change it to or let's uh, stretch this container cover the entire screen because it doesn't matter if it uh, hides behind the image as long as we have the container um, behind this uh, transparent background it's fine now let's take a look at what we have created so far. So go here and preview at that site. We should reduce the height of the section though because we have the header here. So we have to compensate for that. So select the section and reduce height. Um, another change I want to make is increase the animation time so go back to the animation here click on adjust animation and add a duration here like this and let's also add a little delay of around 0 0.5 seconds furthermore we can set the easing here like this So the animation now looks much better and we have a much clearer view of the section. Um, next up, I'm going to add a heading. So let's go to the text and H1. A little bit about the SEO. Every page should have one and one lonely H1 heading. We will talk more about that when we uh, cover the SEO. Let's customize the text. I'm going to choose a font first and a color. And let's add a text here. All 
align the text in the center change the y position from here like this and finally set the font size so let's change it to around 48 Okay, um, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, set this uh, text behind this image, the background image, and go to the position type and set it to sticky. And what sticky does is that when you scroll your website, the element is stuck to the top of the page. So it does not uh, disappear with the scrolling. It remains there until the section or the container passes away. And this will create a cool effect of this text disappearing behind the image. So uh, finally, let's add an animation. I think blur will be much better for this. All right. Let's look at the preview. Right, and when you scroll it, let me add a new section. So when you scroll it, the text will remain there. Okay, so what I want to do is make this text disappear, sorry, behind this image. So when you scroll the website, the text stuck to the top of the page. And what I want to do now is to send this text behind the image to uh, get an effect which makes this text disappear behind this background image here. So to do that, select the text here and send it like this okay now this text is behind this image so if you look at the preview when you scroll it the text disappears behind the image like this so it creates a beautiful effect um, to further refine the design, you can also add a loop. So you can, for example, create the breathe. Set the distance to just 5 pixel and duration to around 50. So we have a subtle animation for this image here. We have a beautiful background and trends and everything. Um, so this is how you can create a beautiful um, hero section. I will teach you more about CSS and everything. Don't worry about that. But yeah, this is how you can create a beautiful hero section. So this was for the first video. Uh, we will dive more deep into details. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.